Hello, in this RPCS3 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect up your PlayStation 4, the DualShock 4 controller, to your Windows machine so you can use it on the RPCS3 emulator. It's actually pretty simple. You don't need any third party tools like SCP Toolkit or DS4 Windows. They're pretty cool as well. They do allow you to do a lot of stuff, a lot of customization. So if that's your jam, you know, feel free to use them and you can map either DualShock or an Xbox controller. But otherwise, it works out of the box. So you can even use a micro USB cable and plug it in and plug the USB in onto your computer. And you, if you do that, if you go wide mode, you're good to go. You're done. And you can skip to the RPCS free section. If you want to use Bluetooth, a bit of extra setup, you've got to you know, obviously sync it up, which is, well, obvious. So if you're on Bluetooth, open up your Bluetooth settings. You can either add it in the old devices and printers menu which is this right here, or in the newer version. Both work fine, I've tried in both, so you're good to go. So I'll add in the new one, click add, and let's put this into sync mode. To do that, press the share button and the PlayStation button at the same time for about three to five seconds, and the light will start flashing. I've got a newer version of the PS4 controller, so I've got a light there, and a light that appears inside the touch bar. So, let me just do it, I'm pressing the buttons now. As you can see, it is flashing. Let me show you there as well. It is flashing. Go to Bluetooth. Wireless controller has appeared. Click that. And it's gone solid. That means it's connected. That's it. <laughs> to confirm, I always like to just type in game. You want to go to setup, USB game controllers. If it appears there, and if you go to properties, if it picks up, you know, the buttons that you are pressing, it is successfully done then. That's it. And if you want to remove it, you just do that. Press remove device. So now what we're going to do is open up our PCS3. And let me just show you how to connect it on there. And let me open it up. Again, this video is not condoning piracy. Before this, no, add that in. And in the description, I'll add a link to the setup video for our PCS3. So if you haven't already set this up, so this is for the latest, you know, our PCS3, which is in, you know, as of 2022. Because uh, I know a few things have changed, so I thought I'll create a new set of updated videos. A lot of people have requested it. So to map it, go to pads, you go to handlers, go to DualShock 4, and that's it. You'll see it's connected. And if you can't edit any of the buttons, I couldn't edit them initially, even though it was picking you up as detected, click refresh and it should work. That was literally all I had to do. I'll just hit the mic, sorry. And they already map it for you, to be fair, which is cool. If you want to remap it in a slightly different configuration, you can. So if I want, you know, R1 to trigger L1, there you go, done. If I want X to trigger up, boom, there we go. I don't want that, so I'm gonna you know remap it back. But apart from that, you're all good to go. And you know you can see the analog sticks right down here. Let me just over so the make sure. Yeah, just making sure that the my face isn't covering anything. But as you can see, the analog sticks are working fine. And as our L2 and R2 right there tells you the battery status as well. If you go to LED setting. You can select the color. So if I want to go to red, for example, click OK and click apply. Hmm. Ah, there we go. I think my end is working. Apply. Hmm. Strange. Why well, the LED color is not work changing? Hmm. Very strange. I'm gonna leave that as this. It seems to be working, but again, the LED color is not working. It was working before when I tried it. Again, if it doesn't work here, feel free to check out DS4 Windows, which allows you to do a bunch of customizations regarding stuff like this. So we'll leave that as is. And you can you know, mess around with other stuff. Another cool thing is that you can add profiles. So I could add a new profile for each individual game or game genre, which is pretty cool and now you want to save so the save buttons here if it's hard to see and i've had a lot of people saying they can't see it just resize the window move it up and you should see it there for example and that's it click save now let's launch up again i'm going to launch up minecraft because 
It's a pretty low powered game, and whilst I'm recording, it should be able to run pretty smoothly as well. Turn the volume up a bit. Oh, yeah, the color has taken effect now. I think it was just whilst you're in game. There we go, color's working. So I can skip, press X. It's a bit loud, so I'll turn it down a bit. And go up, down, X. There we go. It is working fine. I'm, you know, I'll get in game and I'll move around so you can actually see, but really that's it. This music is always so calming. This is a nice controller. They did a good job with this controller. I remember when I first saw it on the announcement video, I was not a big fan of it. I was like, it's looking a bit, I don't know. I mean, I've grown to like it now, but initially I just thought, I don't know, it seems like some kids made it. But when I first held it at uh, some gaming event, I think it might have been Eurogamer in London. And I remember just holding it in my hand, just being so comfortable. And then when, when I got back, I tried the PS3 controller at home. I was like, it's a whack. Like, the PS3 controller was good. Obviously, it's just an extension of the PS2 and PS1 controllers. But compared to the PS4 controller and PS5 controller, deal sense. Got that right here. Though. It's a bit chunky, a bit bigger. Feels kind of more like an Xbox controller in terms of just in your hands. But again, this feels nice as well. But it does feel a lot more sturdier. Feels like you could kill someone with this one. This one sturdy but i feel like with enough pressure i probably could break it that one i think just twisting and turning i probably couldn't break that one well turn the volume down just in case you couldn't hear me Oof. i mean you can end the video right here if you want to or before because you know it is all working i just want to show you it working in game Here we go. Look around, move, you no, know, dig or mine. And place the block. Oh. Don't know why they in places there before. Let me just show you. There we go. So that is it. I will quit out on Minecraft now. And that is how you connect up your PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 controller to your Windows machine to use it on RPS, RPCS3. I get that wrong. I'll be doing videos for Linux. I'll be doing more setup videos as well. Let me know what other setup videos you would like because I know a lot of people do like them. And if you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. There's a link in the description to the dedicated RPCS3 channel. Feel free to hit that up. And the community will help. I try and help as well, but the community definitely will help. And yeah, any other links that you'll need will be in the description. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye and have a good night.